I glimpsed a dream. In it the sky was the deep blue color of the ocean. It glittered and slowly moved away in an arc. A swimming, drowning sort of light flight. Maybe this is eternity. It's like being a satellite in soundless orbit around a planet, gazing at a frozen civilization. The flames danced. In that hand is steel. The earth cracks. In that hand is poison. The sea dries. In that hand is heat of 20... 29,200 jewels. I see a bloodstained dream. Many people are injured. I see a dream that consumes. Many wise men surrender. I see a dream without a dream. Many of us tire of the future. Lament that humans are not this way. <coughs> now the truth hidden for long years reveal itself. The world has long been at a dead end. Human efforts to circumvent it met an unsightly end. I want to hear you cry out in lamentation as broken history cracks and its fault. Faultily mended. I want you to blame them in loud cries. I caress the broken surface of the earth with knowing eyes. I want you to smile victoriously. After several stumbles, we are finally free from human war. But what has that produced? Perpetu perpetuity. Eternity. Bliss. Stagnation. Look upon the many corpses, listen to the anguish no one wishes for the future, only for the continuation of a mediocre happiness. A road to a peaceful home, a sunlit window that frames no poverty or inequality. Now, I want you to answer once more. The flames dance, in that hand is steel, the earth cracks. In that hand is poison, the sea dries. In that hand is heat of 29,200 jewels. This future, it should be loudly sung that no one had wished for it. Life arose from the womb of the ocean. The virtual world preserves a memory of life's mother. We spread out over the earth, made the land more bountiful and birthed civilizations of our own. For what? Purpose. I want the answer to that question. I ask if there was indeed value to millennia of prosperity. With that said, what's going on guys? The Inhuman Beatdown. I'm back with more Fate Extra. We have three days remaining because I accidentally skipped over that. Because I meant to start record. I meant to save my game, but accidentally did not. I suddenly awake. I think I was dreaming, and last time we talked with Rin and got her approval, and we may just be disconnected from our body, that is all. Also, little Ronnie and her servant scared me more. I wonder if it was that dream again. Ronnie said that humans don't dream in the virtual world. Dreams come from memories, and I'm disconnected from my body. I shouldn't have access to my past, but these really feel like my dreams, like something I've seen. I wonder what it all means. Perhaps we will find out. Perhaps. Though doubtful. Anyways. Alright. So, first things first, we should head out to the, uh, Chimacot. We should go talk with Ren once more, because that's just our regular thing. Oh yeah, we can also give Taiga her thing. You found my crab omelet. It's the centerpiece of my lavish feast. Thank you. Alright, you don't think the system labeled it a bug because I fudged the recipe a little, do you? So one more... Infinite... Tiny flavor, I want to ask you. Yeah, you're okay with that, right? Bring it on! I was right about you. Anyway, one of the students has the ner has the nerve to call me, well, Tiger. 
can't imagine why. Cannot abide such insolence. Bring me the student so I may exercise the evil from his soul. So once again, I ask you to tell this foul miscreant to come see me immediately. Suitor, a chastentist, is administered. The better. Please do this within the fourth round. Okay. Of course, he's outside. Let's see what? Miss Fujimura heard me call her tiger and now she wants to see me in the faculty office. No way I'm answering her summons without a last meal. Shark's fin would do nicely. Where do you get shark's fin? Rumor says one in the deepest part of the arena. Look for the sharks. Ironically, I don't think there's actually any sharks there. But hey, what do I know? Alright, to the nurse's office. Dun 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 I can't believe I had a dream. I shouldn't be able to dream in my current state. So there has to be a meaning in the dream. A dream. Electronic brains aren't supposed to dream. Right. I wouldn't say that I was remembering anything. I was just observing the dream reality. None of it was my memories. You might have been recollecting a traumatic experience. Something so awful it branded your soul. You might be a horrible person, you know. The person who caused the tragedy. Uh... Ren, I don't think that's how you make people feel better. Ren mocks me, smiling like it has nothing to do with her. Well, the issue is the voice in the dream, right? Wouldn't that voice be yours? Or at least it would make sense if it was, but it might not be. Now, what am I trying to say? I can keep mulling over the dream as long as I like, and I still won't find my answers. Nothing about who I am or why I entered the Holy Grail War. Ronnie, Rin, Dan, Leo, and I fear even little Ronnie came here with a firm goal. I use the word firm loosely when referring to little Ronnie. Unlike them, I'm just... <laughs> hey, don't frown like that. Your face will stick that way. Glad to see you have developed a sense of humor. Rin presses her index finger to my forehead. Shocking me out of my downward spiral. And grinds it in hard. People's hands are curious. A simple touch can communicate so much. Rin Tosika's peculiar kindness is telegraphed quite clearly. Don't wait to be whole. Find out what matters to you now and fight. And make that reason. Make that your reason to fight. I can't read. You're still alive and in the fight. That's the most important thing right now. If you still get troubled, well, I'll be your sounding board. I don't believe in letting a debt incur interest, if you know what I mean. Are you coming on to me again? She pokes me in the forehead. How is she poking me from all the way over there? That settles it. I'll research your opponent while I'm looking into your amnesia problem. No. I don't care about the benefits. The risk is too great. It's alright, I do realize that I don't have a servant. When I say I'll investigate, I mean only on a level that can't, they can't know about. You don't have a problem with that, right? Not that I'd listen to you if you told me no. How manipulative. Yep, it's decided. You won't be keeping me in your debt for long. So be cooperative and tell me everything you know so far. She's just unstoppable like this. Giving up, I tell her about the enemy servant. I saw him in the arena, and also I know the information his master has leaked about him. He's a middle-aged man in blood-stained armor, wielding a pole and protected by a divine faith. Okay. That gives me enough to work with. Come back tomorrow. I don't want Ren to put herself in further danger, but I'm very grateful for her gesture. I want to speak with Ren longer, but she shoes me off. I'll come back tomorrow, like she asked. Okay, so I think now we can actually, uh, for another time, we can head up and talk to Archer about all of this. So, Archer! Boy, have I got a tale for you. Compared to the other masters, my opponent for the fourth round is a little... How do I put this? Unexpected? Bizarre? Not even human? It's kind of hard to take them seriously. 
Because of that, the atmosphere in my room is more relaxed than usual. I feel like I can actually talk. It's not like I've been waiting for the right moment to bring this up or anything, but, uh... Hey, Archer, what's your relationship with Ren? <laughs> uh, people who have actually watched Fate Stay Night will probably get a big kick out of this. This is the main reason I took the path, uh, I took Ren's path with Archer. Archer has quite a few more dialogue options when it comes to Ren. Especially one I'm really looking forward for, if you have a female character. Which is why I'm female and doing the Ren route. The way I phrased it was vague. But at least I brought up that question I've been dying to ask. Did Archer fall out of his chair? By the way, the sound you just heard was Archer falling out of his chair. <laughs> just so you know, I fell out of the chair because I lost my balance. Not because of your question. Oh, I so called that. Sorry, that. Anyway, why do you want to know about Rin Tosika? Did she lash you with her tongue or something? Well, it's not a bad idea to have a friend your age, but given the circumstances, try not to get too close. I sense that someone's dodging the issue. This is just my opinion, but Archer seems to act poignantly distressed towards Rin Tosika. That points to him being either wary of her, or interested in her. Get your facts straight. There's no connection between me and her. Your imagination's running wild. Besides, have you seen Rin Tosika respond to me much differently than anyone else? When you put it like that, I guess I had to drop the subject. I'm sure that Archer is interested in her, but Rin Tosika doesn't so much as bat an eyelash when she sees him. What could that mean? So obviously, these are the top two answers. Both will give the same result, and this is, well, nothing, so... So she's your type, huh? Objection! On what grounds? Me thinks he doused protest too much. Look at him clenching his fist and furrowing his brow like some kind of cheesy manga hero. Haha, <laughs> that is so meta. <clears throat> I apologize, I'm not usually so immature. Oh, don't worry, you're normally plenty childish. Yeah, I'd better not say that. Fortunately, Archer chooses that moment to clear his throat. Listen, Master. I have a thing for women who are live wires, but even I have my limits. That girl's got enough ego to fill a concert hall. That's not exactly a turn-on. I bet she kept her servant on their feet. If you were a man, we could talk for hours about this. But seeing as how that's not the case... My type would be more. Archer gestures with his hands in the shape of a woman's curves. Oh, God. <laughs> well, this got awkward quick. Well, not awkward, but more... <laughs> more what? As I must have looked puzzled, Archer folds his arms behind his head, embarrassed. Actually, never mind. I have a feeling that no matter what I say, I'll be digging my own grave. Pretty much. The air curves he just played on look awfully familiar. We should drop this, Master. Since we have worked together, I recommend we drop this topic. Archer scoots his chair back into position, scowl on his face. Oh look, now he's giving me the silent treatment. I can't believe I let him worm his way out. That right there, that conversation, made, made this entire moment all the better. Alright, well, that'll be it for now, so next time we get to have fun. And by fun, I mean terrible, terribleness. 
So until then, guys, enjoy the sounds of Archer falling out of his chair at weird, awkward topics. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra. If you enjoyed this, please leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now I'm heading back to the arena to go train up for the next fight. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta!